Hi, Ricky. Okay, I'm gonna just go ahead and get started because I don't want to be here long. Hi from Andrews Air Force Base in Maryland. Hi, Air Force Base in Maryland. Cool, cool. You know, I was about to go out for the Air Force. I sure was. And, um, you know, it's just something just happened and detoured me my whole journey, but I took the test and the little physical and everything, and they were like, oh my gosh, you score so high. You can, you can get any job you want. And the recruiters were so happy and everything. And then I just changed my mind. <laughs> changed my mind and went into corporate America instead. But anyway, the title that I have up there is Having a Childlike Heart. I'm perfect. Thank you for asking, Darian. Thank you. It's about having a childlike heart. And, um, you know, yesterday I posted a video about, you know, five things you could do, you know, when you move into the house of you that you manifested. And I was just, you know, being silly, playing around. And actually, I was just recording myself. I had no intention of even chopping that up and making it a video. I was just recording myself because something about introverts, like, we we don't when we go to parties or whatever we probably don't wild out and just open up but when we're alone for me speaking as an introvert for me when i'm alone i am a child at heart i am silly i dance i i you know i laugh i talk to myself i rib others in my head and stuff you know i be having my own party you know i love your hairstyle oh thank you babe happy friday so I'm saying this here because this is the one thing that I love about um, the law of assumption. This is the one thing that I love also about men too, because if you pay attention to it in the law of assumption you're using, just like me naturally being an introvert, you're using the imagination of that little girl having a childlike heart, you know, of, of, of living in the inn, touching it, tasting, you know, experiencing it hearing it seeing it already and so that that quickens you to use your human imagination right and i really feel like it's a beautiful thing to tap into it's something that i feel like introverts do already and so during my spiritual journey you know you got to find a thing that works for you and so the law of attraction was like yeah yeah you create your own reality but when i stumbled upon the law of assumption that was really really cool for me and it resonated so much for me and i felt really so excited you know to even implement that in my thinking right and even in the biblical text it says and you cannot um make it to the kingdom at least you come as a child you know that childlike imagination that childlike heart and, and spirit right and this is something that i admire so much about men i admire men so much because men know how to do this it's like they don't never put aside their their little boy that's inside of them you know they'll go hang with the fellas or whatever you know they'll go play their basketball they'll rib you know they still joke and they still you know you know try to you know do little punk pranks with you know family and friends or whatever that is something that i really really admire and i'm saying this because women women don't normally carry that with them you know most of us when we we you know grow from a girl to being a woman we want to be all serious all the time and and don't want to let that little girl come out and play so I really feel like if you do this, not only are you abiding by the law of assumption, but you're allowing happiness to flow in your life. You're allowing yourself to stay more youthful and more innocent and have that playful heart and, and being like the child in the biblical text that can't make it into the kingdom unless you come humble and excited and using your imagination and, and looking for thrills and chills and expansion, you know? So ask yourself this here if you are female on this particular live or if you hear this on my YouTube channel, when was the last time you act like a child? <laughs> when was the last time you had a childlike heart? When was the last time as a woman, when was the last time that you went to maybe laser tag and, and ran around with the children? I'm not, I'm not talking about when you was there hosting a party for your children. I'm talking about when you were alone and just went to laser tag and went in around and didn't know none of the children, but the little girl in you came out to play. When was the last time the little girl in you, y'all just went to the beach and you talked to the little girl in you? Because see, a lot of us have trauma and it is deeply rooted inside of us 
but it's that it's really having this ease and this harmony with the little girl inside of us the little girl that doesn't feel worthy still the little girl that doesn't feel accepted she didn't feel like she had moments to play because the you were so busy thinking about what daddy and mama was doing or the trauma or the molestation or whatever it is that caused your trauma you were so busy trying to cope with that that the little girl never had a moment to be innocent to be playful to be beautiful to be loved to be at peace and she needs that still even though you are a woman now in the physical reality she needs that and she don't need that from no man she don't need that from the person that hurt you then people don't owe you nothing she need that from you she need to feel secure with you she need you to tell her that she is worthy so this comes this becomes a relationship this is the most important relationship that you will have ever have in a physical reality and it's going to be the one with yourself so whether you're a woman or a man it's a little boy or a little girl inside of you that is longing for you to accept it longing for you to talk to it longing for you to not be looking outside of you for anything that you think you need when everything you need is inside of you but you got to talk to the little girl you got to play with the little girl this is how i really healed my my issues by talking to her by letting her know by wrapping my arms around myself and letting her know she's beautiful and letting her know she's loved and i love you and i will I'll protect you i'm sorry for whatever happened in the past but let's let's have fun now i'm gonna always be there for you and so like when you plan little trips or whatever when you're by yourself because you, the healing happens when you're alone by yourself you could plan trips with the little girl or little boy inside of you today like right now you can go to the park and it's almost like having an imaginary friend you're healing yourself you have to, sometimes you have to encourage yourself is what i'm saying here sometimes you have to be your own savior is what i'm saying here because really and truly at the end of the day you can discover that that is what you are you are your savior so save yourself save the little girl in you and be like a have the little girl come out and be like a child at heart go skating go dancing Dance around in your room, go to the park, go to the movies and, and watch a cartoon by yourself. Laugh a little, turn the cartoons on in your house. You know, when you're reading the newspaper, why turn to the obituary first? Why not read the cartoons? Do something that's gonna make you feel good is all I'm saying. To heal yourself, to, to have an aura of happiness, to have, have an imagination that is eager to explore and soar to endless possibilities because it feels so good. You should be to a point in your journey where if something happened that kind of quickens you or, or, or decreases your frequency so to speak that you could just jump into another reality jump into another state of being and hop up out of there instantaneously because that's what we're supposed to be doing we're supposed to be transforming energy here learning to be a master manifester and it all starts when you discover that little girl or the little boy inside of you and in heart to heart be with them be centered with them because what happens is that is you your, your lower self meeting your higher self and this here connection is the thing that lives on this is your soul essence it lives on and on and on so that's going to be the most important relationship that you're going to ever have in the in the physical reality even when you are in a relationship and mad they come if you don't have the relationship together with yourself you're going to be up in another room trying to figure you out you're going to be huffing and puffing but you need to learn how to be alone with self why do i get angry when such and such happen why do i feel alone why do i feel sad you need to know these things about yourself what what turns me on what kind of man do i really like what do i like sexually can i please me before i look along for somebody else that has to please me i'm not talking just sexually mentally physically emotionally what are you doing for you what is the connection with you and the little girl inside of you what is that like what is the life that you have already and in the way that you can discover this and explore this is by being like a child ready and eager to explore you know how a child would be like but why is that mommy but why? But why? You know, they're kind of inquisitive. They're constantly asking questions, you know? So you, as, a, as the little girl in you, is like asking the subconscious mind, why? Why do I feel like this? And by you asking the subconscious mind a question, it's hooked up to infinite intelligence. And it's going to explain to you why. Why do I feel sad? Well, maybe you feel sad because you, you never really went in. You never really talked to me. 
I'm the lower version of yourself, that's why, because you have you have dis-ease and disharmony with me. But why? Because you always, you know, you constantly go down and down with the why. Because you always neglected me. Because you always did. You had always had uh, so many siblings and you never really got attention. So you, you don't think you deserve attention. So that's why you don't give me attention. But why? I don't know. I don't know. But why? And you just keep on going, going, going and talk to her. And she will... It's like an onion, like you pull it back layers and layers and layers and you get to the root of what the heck is really making you unhappy. Because you could be happy, ma unhappy married, you could be unhappy in a relationship dating, you could be unhappy single, you could be unhappy even with riches. You can be unhappy at any state of being with your life if you have not went in and supped with yourself. If you have not went in and talked to that little boy or that little girl inside of you to figure out why. And so then after you get down to peeling all of the onions, all of the layers of the onions and healing your trauma and all, now you have a best friend. You have a best friend within yourself. In, within yourself. So now you can play this imagination game, so to speak, like your imaginary friend, your lower version of yourself, that y'all going shopping. That y'all going shopping together if you're a woman. That y'all going to play basketball or whatever if you're a guy or whatever. Because now she's healed. Now she's happy. But you want to make sure she stay happy. You want to make sure you stay connected to that lower part of you or your lower self or, or the little girl in you, so to speak. You want to always stay connected to her because you want to make sure that the way that she feel is up to par with the way that you feel. So there won't be any dis-ease or disharmony in your day. That everything, you know, you know how they say you get on my nerves or this pissing me off or you blowing me. That everything don't blow you, you know. So you won't always be on the edge, you know. And you can do that with so many cool, innovative ways. Just think about it. Just figure out. Just ask yourself, what do we really want to do today that will make us feel good? For me today, what's going to make me feel good? I already feel good right now. But... What's going to make me even feel more good is I'm going to go to the park. They have this really, really cool park. And they have these really tall, like, waterfalls. And, oh, I love to be around water. Oh, the water just gives me so much peace. And so just to hear the water and be out in nature, that feels good. So while I'm out there, I decided that I was going to work out while I was out there. Because my health and wellness and my, and my body being in shape, that matters to me. That makes me feel good. And after I do that, I'm going to go to the store. And I'm going to go to the store and I'm buy me some fruits and some nuts and stuff. Because what I put inside of my body is important to me too. You know, And so you know whatever it is that makes you feel good. Your feel good don't have to be like my feel good. But... I like to be outside feeling good. I like to be connected with the sun. I could actually sit outside all day long with some nice cold water and just connect with the sun and it charges me up. That feels good. And so when I'm out there, if I wanted to talk to the little girl that I'm telling you all that, that, that imagination state of being with me, I'll ask her, are you okay? Are you having fun? Is the sun too hot for you? Do you want to go inside? Do you want a free spot? What do you want to do today? You gotta get to this place, cause when you get to this place, nobody can tell you nothing. Nobody can come over there and mess with your day because you have connected with the little girl in you. The one that may have been through some trauma, but no, those days are gone now because you and her are best friends now. And you know, in the physical reality, I never really had a daughter. I'll tell you a secret though. If I were to have a daughter, my boys, they names start with J's. And if I was to have a daughter, her name would have been little Jasmine. Just imagine that a little me so actually the little girl and me her name is jasmine and me and jasmine just go out and hang out wherever i go jasmine comes baby wherever i go i make sure that jasmine is feeling good because how you feel matters baby and you can take that idea and use that with your little girl or your her little boy and you name them whatever you want nobody ain't gotta know what you're thinking about you might some people might be out there saying oh that's so crazy talking to yourself but guess what you're all that exists anyway you are all that exists in the physical reality anyway and life is happening through you why not have you imaginary somebody that's gonna comfort you that's gonna make you feel good that's gonna play with you and enjoy the journey with you because guess what you're gonna be expanding either way it go you might as well expand with greatness with a little imaginary friend a little partner that's gonna give you more thrills and chills and expansion that's gonna always be there because it's a spiritual connection it is a spiritual connection the people in the physical reality they ain't gonna always be there daddy ain't gonna always be there 
your husband ain't gonna always be there. But if you begin to talk and commune and have that childlike spirit inside of you, that little version of you will always be there. And you can make sure that she always feels good. Feel good because in this spiritual journey, we're manifesting and creating how you feel really really matters so you might as well start working on it now baby because you're going to be going on and on no matter what dimension no matter what realm no matter what success or whatever you achieve your mental and how you feel how you think about things and how you express yourself in this here heart that's going to be the thing that you're going to have to take with you because that's your electromagnetic form of energy why not get some more juice to make that electromagnetic form of energy a little bit more powerful and that's what i do so i'm just sharing what i do and I'm sharing what makes me feel good no matter what okay I just wanted to share that with you all I'm about to go work out this video was from my to yours let me look at these comments right quick let's see happy forward oh happy forward to you too baby you are nice thank you so are you baby I love to drive amen you're not lying peacefulness happiness joy and gratitude for the win you right What's up, Dre? Hey, woke, relaxed mind. I like that name. Peel back the onion. Yes, peel back that onion. Because some of us have so many layers in there. Oh my God. Yeah, let's see. Repent. Jesus Christ loves you and saves. Yes, and you are Jesus Christ. Save yourself. <laughs> you better love yourself, Jesus. Water is so calming. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Hey, hey. Love you, TT. Have a beautiful day. Oh, hey, God is love and light. Hey, thank you for being here. Okay, this video was from my heart to yours, baby. Be blessed. Bye.